Hey y'all, welcome back to Spilled Milk, where there's no point in crying over spilled milk because we weren't going to drink it anyway. This is a little bit of a gripe video. I don't want to call it a rant, I'm just disappointed and feel slightly strongly about it, so I'm just going to share. Um, so I went to go make my grandmother's mac and cheese video, you can check that out here. The process of making it, I realized the cheese I bought, this kind right here, is actually not dairy free. So this is the Lisa Natty, Lisa Natty Foods brand. Um, so it's in the dairy free section of Whole Foods and it was on sale which is why I bought it. Usually I rock with Daya which is the OG of vegan cheeses but this is on sale and you know Whole Foods can sometimes be a whole check so I went with the one that was on sale. Um, I'm getting ready to make the recipe and I read the instructions on the back and the second ingredient is casein which is a milk protein and they tell you that and I appreciate it but it's not technically dairy free. And granted it doesn't say dairy free on the package, it says cheddar style and it tells you there's no lactose. It doesn't promise to be dairy free. On the front it says the Good Health Cheese Alternative. To me that's another point in favor of my point that you aren't going to know that it's not that it has some kind of milk product. It's an alternative, meaning it's not real cheese. If you have a milk product in there, especially if people are like legitimately trying to be vegan or if you are actually allergic, you would not know and that to me is frustrating because it's one thing if you are choosing to be dairy free and you're like, okay that's annoying but whatever, but when you don't have a choice and it's like certain things when you're trying your best to make the right choices for you and it still can be a problem, that's really frustrating and it's really annoying. Um, yeah, so I'm disappointed. Highly. And this isn't to shame them or anything like that. I'm not saying they're not good. I'm just saying I think they could be clearer in their packaging and clearer in their messaging given that they are and they're an alternative and people have a variety of reasons for looking for an alternative. One of mine happens to be an allergy. Had I had this and reacted, it would have been really unpleasant. But I think for a product that's in that section that I think is understood as going to be an alternative to dairy, it should actually be dairy free. If you're allergic to dairy, you can be allergic to different kinds of parts of the milk, so the whey, pro, the whey part, the casein, or you may not know. I don't know which part of my body is reacting, or which part of the, which part of the milk my body is reacting to, so I just avoid it altogether. It would be really helpful if, if it's going to be a dairy free cheese or be in the same section, it was clear if it wasn't actually dairy free. And part of it's definitely on me. I kind of made the assumption. I definitely just went with the one that was the cheapest. But I do think it should be a little more clear as to what aspect of dairy-free or vegan or whatever that you're going for. Clearly it's not meant to be real cheese. It has almond cheddar style directly on it, which is a clarifying term meaning it's not real cheese. Like, don't get confused. But if that's the case, I think it should go one step further to say, hey, this does contain milk in a more prominent place. So that's my gripe. Be sure to do all the things. Subscribe, like, share, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.